Another meeting between the U.S. President Joe Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy ends without an agreement on raising the country's debt ceiling. As the June 1st hard deadline nears, when the world's biggest economy could run out of cash and default on its debt for the first time ever. Disagreements are stalling the talks. As the Republicans insist on spending cuts, the Democrat government wants to raise taxes. It's time for Republicans to accept that there is no bipartisan deal to be made solely, solely on their partisan terms. I think we should be looking at tax loopholes and uh, making sure the wealthy pay their fair share. We should find ways that we cap the amount of spending going out late because the Democrats had spent so much. With no agreement in sight, the U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen reminded the Congress in a letter that the government will only be able to pay its bills for a week. If the limit on the maximum debt the government can have is not increased from the current $31 trillion. If the U.S. defaults on its loans, it will lead to an economic catastrophe, in Janet Yellen's own words. Firstly, the currency used for global trade, the U.S. dollar, will fall. Interest rates will rise while global commodity prices and crude oil prices will fall as the U.S. will fall into a recession. The global and Indian stock markets will also be hurt. But experts say that this situation is unlikely. It's now a question of who blinks first, the Democrats or the Republicans. Uh, if there's a recession in the U.S. economy, then our export demand would be affected. On the other hand, if the commodity prices drop because of the recession, that would help you know, control inflation in India. Uh, so in other words, there could be some positive effect. The dollar would weaken, the rupee would strengthen a little bit. Maybe a week or so of the uh, end of the uh, you know, ceiling uh, limit, I think uh, there would be an agreement. Priyanchi Sharma for NDTV.